Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the bar chart in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. We need to create a new frame. The range of this box is the size of the chart. After it is generated, click the drawing button. The basic bar chart is finished quickly. Next, Take a look at the parameters here. The basic information in this tutorial, as well as the vertical and horizontal lines, have been explained in great detail in the line chart tutorial. If anyone needs it, you can check out the first half of the line chart tutorial. I will focus on demonstrating the data settings for you. Here you can set the data range. Currently, their data range is 0 minus 100. This is easier to understand. Let's take a look here. There is data 1 below the data. Now, let's look at where we can set the width of the bar. I'll increase the width and see the result. Currently, we draw right angled columns by default. If you need to draw rounded corners, click here. Please note that the value of the arc cannot exceed half the width of the column. Click the drawing button. The ends of the column are now rounded. But generally, we want the bottom of the column to be right angled. Then click this icon to set the arc of each corner of the column separately. OK, the right side of the column has rounded corners and the left side has right angles. This is the text on the pillar. Turn off this switch to hide it. You can also change the size and color of the text here. Next, you can fill in the data value and set its color individually. If you need to add data, that is, at a column. Click the plus sign on the right side of data1. And a new data value will be added below, called data1-4. I'll set its color. Let's take a look at the drawing results first. There are four columns now, but you will find that the text content cannot match the column one by one. To modify the text content at the left side, you need to go back to the basic information. Let me set the text to year. Click the drawing button. Now they correspond. One thing to note is that, when filling in the text at the bottom, the fields need to be separated by commas. Although there are currently many columns, they all belong to a set of data. But in many cases, we need to draw multiple sets of data for comparison. Click the plus sign to the right of the data to add a set of data. Then data 2 will appear. And the number of columns in data 2 is consistent with the default root data. 1. In order to be more intuitive, I unify the colors of the columns of the same group of data. You can copy it to the color value like this. But there is a quicker way. Click the button to the right of the color block to apply to all. In this way, the colors of the columns in data 1 will be unified. I will continue to use this method to set the column colors of data 2. Then I need to select this frame and draw it. Then, here, you can set the spacing between columns. I widened the spacing a bit and changed it to 10. The columns are further apart. I'll restore it. We also provide a stacked column chart format. Turn on the stack switch. It becomes a stacked column chart. Since the data is superimposed, the data range automatically changes. I continue to add a set of data and unify its colors. The stacking effect of the three sets of data is more obvious. I'll restore it to a normal bar chart. I made the frame higher. This is the result of the three sets of data. Okay, this part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.